Greetings Red Wolves, this is Mrs. Best. Today we are going to continue our work on juggling. Uh, so remember, I'm going to be using juggling scarves, but if you don't have those at home, you can use a napkin, you can use a tissue, you can use a paper towel, you can use a plastic bag. Remember I told you last time, I learned how to juggle using plastic grocery bags. There's no shame in that. So whatever you've got at home, is great to use. I was actually practicing with this earlier, um, and this actually works really nicely. I was surprised at how well they worked. If you're using a tissue or a paper towel, remember to crumble it up first and then gently spread it back out. That's, I'm not exactly sure why, but that makes it fly better. It makes it float in the air a little bit better. Maybe it catches with the wind resistance better once it's been crumbled. So we are gonna get to start it today with um, two scarves in one hand. So pick whichever hand is your dominant hand, your favorite hand. Um, my hand, my dominant hand is my right hand. To you it looks like my left, but this is my right hand, or my right arm. So I'm gonna start there. When we start with two scarves, you hold one kind of in your fist, still holding it like a tent or a ghost, and you hold the second one in your pincher fingers, okay? So you kind of pinch that in the middle, and that's how you're starting. I'm getting my other hand out of the way so I'm not tempted to use it. Okay, so we're gonna start with our circles. So when you toss them in a circle, your arm is gonna continuously move in a circle while you alternate throwing the scarf. Okay, you're gonna work in one direction and then on your own, change to the opposite direction. Okay, this is, a, this is part of the challenge, all right? So when you're ready, go ahead and get started. You release, you let go, at the top of the circle, and you catch it at the bottom. If they fall to the floor, you simply pick them back up and you start again. Working on perseverance, continuing even when things are hard, they're challenging, they're new to you. you may remember to change direction, I had forgotten. Switch hands. So remember, holding your fist, pinch your grip for the second one. Empty hand behind your back so you're not tempted to use it. The back of your hand faces the ceiling because you want to keep that overhand grip on the scarves. Remember to change direction. watching, keeping those eyes on your scarf. All right, now you're gonna take out your empty hand. Get the two hands set. Pinch your finger for the second scarf. You're gonna to toss, I'm gonna to toss the blue one. I'm gonna hold on to the orange one, catching with my empty hand. Tossing and catching, passing it back, tossing and catching. Remember, you're trying to toss up like there's a square here. You want to toss up to this corner so it falls down towards my empty hand. Okay? I'm still grabbing it overhand out of the air. Don't catch it this way because then you have to maneuver to try to throw it again later. Okay? Always keeping both hands back of your hand facing the ceiling. Okay, switch hands. So now I'm gonna throw the orange scarf and hold on to the blue one using my pincher fingers for the orange one. Now we're going to add some challenge, get a third scarf, third tissue, third paper towel, third napkin. When you start with three, one hand is gonna have two, right? Because you only have two hands. <clears throat> the hand that has two is your starting hand. Pincher on the third one. You're gonna toss, and before you throw 
what's in a full hand. You have to empty it by throwing that one. Okay, so it's gonna be throw, throw, throw with your catches. So it'll look like this. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes more sense when you see it. So it's throw, 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 and I catch them all. Okay, one at a time. Throw, 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 catch them all. Catching them one at a time. If that's pretty easy, I forgot to throw my third one. Oh my goodness. So <clears throat> that's, you got the idea, then you can keep going. And now just like that, you are juggling. Keep those eyes moving, keep going. How many can you do? When you make a mistake, remember, you just pick it up, start again. For an extra challenge, we're gonna move on and do the one up, two up. It sounds pretty much like it's gonna look. So you're gonna toss one up, and then you're gonna toss two up, and one up, two up, one up, two up. So pick a hand to start with. Remember the two hand is going to be the one you start with. One up, two up, one up, two up, one up, two up, one up, two up. Then you can also switch the hand that's in the middle. One up, two up, one up, two up, one up, two up. You can also change it and alternate which hand is doing the middle hand, doing the middle scarf. I'll keep the orange in the middle because it messes with my head. There you go, so I'll start with this hand, my right hand, doing the middle scarf, and then I'll change it to my left hand. So there's another challenge for you. I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds to do whichever scarf challenge you wanna try. You can do a two, you can do three. I'll give you 30, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Go. there's your next level of juggling challenges with scarves or plastic bags, napkins, paper towels. Nice job working on your hand-eye coordination today. So remember you're working your hands and your eyes together. You're working on both sides of the brain, getting those cross connections. Um, this will help you with different sports. It will also help you with your learning because as you can make more connections in your brain, you are able to learn things better, make those connections to recall them faster. All right, hope you had fun today. I know I did. And I can't wait to see you guys next time.